Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and are you a smart shopper? So having recently been a college student, actually I'm still a college student if you count grad school, and everybody knows that college students are poor, but I am also a young fashionista. Uh-oh, which means there is a very big problem. And by big, I mean expensive. AKA, how do you keep up with the latest trends when you have no money to buy things? So I'm talking walking into a department store and buying just clothes off the rack that don't have any sales or discounts or coupon codes, whatever. That means you're paying like 40 to $60 for a pair of jeans that you may or may not even like know the brand, but they're just coming from like Macy's or Belk or something. If you're not from the South, you probably have no idea what Belk is. And I'm not even talking about going to the specialty shops in the downtown mall where you're gonna get you know, a scarf for like $50. These things, these things all disgust me. Not enough bang for the buck. You know, those gaucho pants that you bought for one spring season and then everyone hated them for the rest of eternity. So to meet my desire for staying up with the latest trends but not going broke, I have become an incredible coupon discount sale shopper. And my smart shopping abilities are governed by two key principles. Number one, never buy something the first time seeing it unless it's under 10 or $20 respectively, depending on what kind of item it is. So if it's a shirt and it's under $10 and you really like it at the time, I would probably go ahead and buy it. Or if it's a pair of jeans or a dress and it's under $20, again, if you like it, probably go ahead and buy it as long as you have the money. If you have like $25 and the dress is $20, like d d don't, don't do that. That's not good. Eat something, pay your rent, I don't know. And number two, when you find something that you really like, shop around first. Go to discount stores like Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx because you might find something really similar for a lot less price. Or if you're just absolutely dying for something that's in the department store, that specialty store, wait for it to go on sale and hopefully you can get it for a lot cheaper. I've gotten really beautiful summer dresses at a department store that are usually over $60 simply by waiting until mid-season when it's been discounted to like $11. I've also gotten great formal and homecoming dresses at discount stores like Ross for under $20. The thing about formal dresses is that you wear them so infrequently and very rarely do girls want to wear them again because they're gonna look the same in their pictures that why would you want to shell out $100, $200 on a dress that you're gonna wear one night? But my best shopping secret is goodwill. I'll get so many compliments on what I'm wearing and people will be amazed when I tell them that I got it for like $3.50 at Goodwill. Like this skirt, or these shoes, or these fancy shirts. The thing about fashion is that it's very circular, that eventually you run out of new ideas and you start pulling from the past and incorporating it into what you have today. Which means that dressy flowy shirts that my grandmother used to wear are now really similar to the drapey fancy tops that are on models. Which means a lot of cheap fashionable items. Now I will say that good women's clothing is definitely easier to find than men's clothing because men tend to be harder on their clothes and they're also not made with as good of material as women's usually are. Women's clothing from 20, 30 years ago was also made a lot better than women's clothing today. So if you took relatively good care of your clothing and then donated it recently, people like me can find really nice things that are better quality than stuff they can buy in the store now. I generally have an eclectic style anyway and Goodwill tends to have some things that you never, ever would expect. Like really, why? Who wore this sequin bustier? Why is this here? I would have buried it. I haven't bought a sequin bustier from Goodwill, but because things are such a low price, I'm willing to go out on a limb and try things that fit within current trends that I don't necessarily know if I'm going to like or if it'll look good on me, but I don't feel like I'm wasting 20, 50 bucks on something that is gonna be horrible and I'm never gonna wear but like once. But the best part is I don't feel like I'm feeding the capitalistic monster that is the world these days because the majority of the funds go to helping people in your community find jobs and get training, all kinds of awesome things. So essentially, if you go to Goodwill often and pick up one or two things while you're there, and going often is the best way to find really awesome things, then essentially you're donating money to charity every couple weeks and getting awesome pieces for your wardrobe. And I make sure that any clothes in my closet that doesn't fit me anymore or I just don't wear very much all goes to Goodwill. It's really awesome to be going through a rack of clothes and find your own clothing there because I like to think that there's some little girl who can't afford the department store stuff but sees my purple pair of jeans and is like, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yay! So from one smart shopper to another, get out there and do some good with clothes and tell me in the comments your favorite place to find great deals. And it doesn't just have to be clothes. It can be whatever you find important enough to want to save money on and you can educate the masses through YouTube. And remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. <laughs>